terrorist attack uh, back in 1993, about eight years ago. On the Twin Towers, at that point, six people were killed, a thousand people were injured. Major security measures were put into effect after that, m making sure that people did not get into that building unless they had the proper clearance. Um, but obviously, the buildings today were vulnerable to air. We do not know anything about the people who were working inside those buildings. Um, obviously, it's a full work day in New York City, a, th a Tuesday in September, and it's also primary day. Mm -hmm. um, so people were going to work as usual. Now, it happened a few minutes before 9 in one of the buildings. Yes. Well, one would assume that maybe some of those offices weren't quite open yet. I, I would think so. A lot of people had not arrived to work, and we certainly hope that is the case. Um, as you said, the first, uh, the first explosion, the first plane slamming into the, uh, the first building, a plane that was hijacked from Boston, happened about, it was about 8.50, somewhere between 8.50 and 9 o'clock this mm -hmm, morning. Mm -hmm. And it was 18 minutes later, we saw right here on our live picture from Chopper 4, the second plane which uh, witnesses have described as a full commercial airliner slamming into the second tower. And you saw the dramatic explosion. And of course, just a couple of minutes ago, uh, witnesses say that another commercial airliner has slammed into the Pentagon down in Arlington, Virginia. The U.S. Capitol and the White House have both been evacuated, and we understand that the White House had received a threat of a terrorist attack. Now we're looking back at the Pentagon. Again, you can see the smoke billowing from there. We have uh, uh, no other information at this point about casualties or injuries or exactly what it was that uh, smashed into the Pentagon earlier today. Um, that happened, what, 25 minutes ago, 20 minutes yes. ago? Something of that sort. Um, well, one know, of the other pictures we saw, we actually saw a, um, um, a member of the military in full fatigue. Outside the White House. Outside the White House, uh, you know, fully loaded and ready to go for anything. We expect that Mayor Giuliani is going to be speaking shortly. As you can imagine, I'm sure there is a scene of much confusion now at... Uh, downtown in lower manhattan outside the world trade center towers um, we have just been told that the pentagon is being evacuated um, at this point um, and we're looking back at the world trade center towers here the smoke continues to billow the fire is clearly not under control yet jane we have another witness on the telephone of the uh the second plane slamming into yes. the second tower his name is robert thomas from brooklyn heights can you hear me robert yes i can can you tell us exactly what you saw i was on the roof deck of my building watching the fire from the first explosion and i was on the phone with my parents in florida and i watched the second plane coming in from staten islandish area um and i was thinking i was telling my mom on the phone that plane is too low i can't believe it's that close to the building after the first one hit and it was gray on the top plane it was about the size of one of the shuttles maybe coming from dc area um, it was not a small plane. It was like a 737 or something. Um, uh, and whatever air airline is gray on the top. And I saw it hit the building. I have a very good friend who works at Windows in the World, the pastry chef, Heather Ho, and I hope to God she's okay today. Have you, have you attempted to reach her? I tried to call her at home. The work number is busy, of course. I tried to call her at home and got her message. Okay. Um, I, I, again, we've been talking about how the FBI is reporting uh, is investigating reports that uh, at least one aircraft, if not two, were hijacked earlier today. Um, so from your vantage point, what you could see appeared to be the size of perhaps a shuttle aircraft. Right. It was not a small plane. It was a big plane. Okay. I know people have been saying a small commuter, but it wasn't small. It was definitely a, you know, it definitely held a, a good group of people. Mm -hmm. um, could you see... Could you see anybody through the windows or the cockpit of that aircraft? No, were you it, too far it, away? it wasn't that close, but I could clearly see the plane coming in. I could clearly see it aiming straight for the building. It was in a long, swooping motion. It wasn't a jerky flight. It went straight into it. Oh, my. And it was way, I mean, it was so low, it was unbelievable to watch. I well, tell you what, I'm scared right now. Yeah, thank you. We, we appreciate your comments, and we thank you very much for, for giving us this information. Because, thank of you. course, we are... We are trying to find out exactly what happened on this Tuesday morning. Jane, we're learning the State Department has also been evacuated. The Associated Press has learned that the White House was evacuated after the Secret Service did receive a credible threat of a terrorist act against the White House. Does it say what time that, att that, that threat came in? No, it does not. So we don't know if it we was before it was the before. planes crashed into the World Trade Center or after. Um, what we're seeing now is that is there's information that the aircraft at the Pentagon crashed in a helicopter landing pad near the Pentagon. 
Um, again, the west wing of the White House evacuated amid threats of terrorism. As well as the U.S. Capitol and the State Department now. Exactly. Um, one of the planes, we're also being told that one of the planes that crashed into the World Trade Center had been hijacked after takeoff from Boston, as you've just said, um, citing a transmission from that airplane. Let's go and, and review for you exactly what has happened as a result of all of this. All airplane traffic across this across country, the country yes. has been grounded. There are no airplanes leaving or land. Or I assume they can land. Those are up in yeah, the air. Right. But um, there are no aircraft that are going to be leaving uh, any of the airports around the country for at least the time being. We do not know how long. It is virtually impossible to get in up into this city right now. The bridges, the subways, the tunnels, everything is shut down. Um, there are major traffic jams from people who were trying to leave or trying to get in. Um, obviously, it is a good day to stay put wherever you are. Um, obviously, the airports here are all closed. Right. The stock exchange has been closed. Closed down. Uh, subways, the 1, 2, 3, and 9, all train service in and out of the city is now shut down. And, and uh, you know, not to, at, in the big picture, this is really not that important at this moment, but uh, you have to wonder if maybe the, uh, the primary election will be uh, possibly be suspended because of this. Well, people can't go to their polling places. You're absolutely right. And, and, and uh, you know, and I'm sure that's something that they will sort out later. Absolutely. Because I'm sure not a single one of these candidates is worrying about that at this moment. No, no. Um, we heard the president call this a terrorist attack. That was before uh, the explosion at the Pentagon. So um, the president is uh, being fully briefed. He said he had talked to the governor. Now, the governor has an office in the World Trade Center. He was in Manhattan, um, but we do not know where he is. President Bush has said he has talked to the governor. So we assume that he is safe. Um, at this point, uh, we are waiting for the mayor to give us some kind of information about casualties or injuries this morning. Okay, we have another reporter uh, out on the street, Walter Perez. Uh, can you hear us, Walter? Here we are about two blocks away from... Okay, two blocks away from where the whole thing happened, and this entire area has been cordoned off, and people that have been working in nearby buildings have been told to evacuate. That's what this mass exodus is to my left-hand side. To my right, we have two witnesses, and as we speak with you two, we're going to pan up and show a shot of what we see from this vantage point. First, Marna Ringel, and Marna, you work across the street. Tell me exactly what you saw on the street, and as you looked up, what you saw, because you said you saw the second one. Am I correct? No, I didn't see the second one. I actually was coming out of the building, and there was maybe about 30 or 40 people at the bottom of One World Financial covered in blood. I did not expect that at all, and I work for Lehman in one right here, and a gentleman that I work with was on the telephone. He said, what was that? I said, I, you know, he thought it was thunder. I looked over and screamed, it's a bomb, because I saw a piece of the building flow down, and I think I scared my entire floor because I can scream pretty loud, and it was pretty bad. Now, you mentioned that you saw people on the road outside of the building. Explain that scene. I, I saw um, there's maybe about 30 or 40 people uh, covered with bandages and blood. It looks like a lot of them were either on the floor of one of the exchanges. There's actually, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh my God. We're not sure exactly what happened, but it was another explosion on the far side of one of the buildings from where we're standing. The, ver the, the reverberation and another explosion on the right-hand side. Another building has gone. Another building has gone up on the right-hand side of the road. People are now running down the street. We're not sure if that was another explosion or if that was advanced debris. Joining me also is Jim Plant. Jim, you're also a witness of what happened. Tell me exactly what you saw from your vantage point across the street. I was just across Liberty and, uh, and West here, and I saw the second plane hit the uh, uh, Tower 2. It looked like a 737. It uh, hit a glancing blow, it didn't hit it direct. I don't know where the rest of the plane went, uh, but it went in, fireball came out, and it hit lower than the first uh, plane, which hit uh, the upper floors. Jim, thank you very much. At this point, as you can tell, there's absolute pandemonium in this area because of what had just happened. Exactly what, I can't confirm, but on the far side of the building, there seemed to be another explosion. And also on the right-hand side, there was also another explosion. We're not sure if that was uh, extra reverberation from what happened at the World Trade Center or if that was an added explosion. At this point, there's a, a lot of smoke, massive plumes of smoke falling from the building across the street. People that were running down the street or walking are now running away. We don't have any information as far as what the most recent uh, reverberations were, but from two blocks away, you could feel what happened. We'll get more information and pass it along to you.
All right, thank you very much, Walter. Again, uh, one or two more explosions again around the World Trade Center. We don't know if it was in the same building or adjacent buildings. Can we um, re-rack that video that we were looking at as Walter?